G'day, today we're going to have a look at the weekly challenge. Uh, this is the weekly challenge of August 23rd. Um, so this is definitely a degree of difficulty one where the houses are unzoned. Um, you can double number of bridges awarded, which is a little bit of a perk. And then we get to start with one motorway as well. That's a super close position for our first house there. Now, one thing that has changed since the last time I played the game and now is that a patch has come out that's adjusted a few things in the game. I'll just mention them quickly as well because I think it does change um, some of the difficulty of the game. Uh, and the developers did seem to say that these are bug fixes, these aren't intentional, these aren't things to try and up the difficulty or anything, these are things that should have always been in place and they've only just uh, been able to fix. So firstly, wow, those are some really nice positions. Firstly, the um, three-way intersections now operate the same way that a four-way intersection does. I don't have too much in the way of space um, here. Oh, right, cool. We can put that there. So you can see now that if I make this a three-way intersection, he'll slow down as he enters it. Same as you would a four-way intersection. So that old advantage of... Um, not having a um, like not having four-way intersections because that slowed them down. That's now gone. Um, they've increased slightly the speed of a three-way intersection uh, to sorry. They've increased the speed slightly of a four-way intersection because the addition of the three-way intersections will make things a little bit trickier. Um, now, with that in mind, that does suggest that traffic lights are actually going to be a little bit more useful now because. If everyone's even going to be slowing down in a three-way intersection, if you know that one of the, like say the T on a three-way intersection isn't going to be used as much as the main road, then absolutely you've got um, a clear justification to uh, instead, um, so chuck a traffic light in there, let the main roads hopefully just go like flow smoothly the whole time. And then just if someone happens to come up in that T, they can wait a moment and then get the light. Um, in attempting to cater uh, to, I guess, lights being used more as well, they've now sped up how long it takes a light to change. So it hopefully shouldn't reduce traffic flow as badly as, as sometimes it does and, and might be a bit more efficient. Uh, the other thing of note that they, they changed is that Manila and Rio de Janeiro, they said uh, there wasn't as, they weren't as quick to uh, put out, um, what do you call it? Uh, they weren't as quick to, wow, generate houses, uh, sorry, generate destinations as they actually intended. Um, so both of those maps would actually cause there to be much slower um, sort of like destinations coming out to you than than the other levels. And, and you might have noticed, I mean, you can definitely see it from my, my videos as well, that... Um, Manila was by far the easiest one to get a huge score on. I think Rio de Janeiro only did the um, the once and got four thousand on it. So it certainly that's a um, an understandable adjustment that they've made there. Let's go around this guy to get him connected. And since we're going to have an excess of bridges, we can also have him join in too. So it does mean that the things like my 9,000 in Manila short of changing to a blocking strategy, I would imagine that, that that'll probably stand for a long time as my, my best score in that one. Now I could even cut this corner like that. I mean, it's only the one house that's operating on him, so hopefully he can survive it. Um, survive just being looked after by that one. So let's let's cut these corners. For me, the only reason that I don't I make those sort of rounded corners is because I think it's a little bit prettier. But we may as well just just have it because possibly those those houses can survive with just those one or those destinations can survive with those one houses right on top of them. But I mean so far I've been extremely lucky in the placement that this um, non-zoning has, has given me. And I reckon at least potentially all three of those yellow houses could survive with just two or three houses connected to them with having one that's ex that extreme close. I 
been very kind indeed. So say, for example, here, we put that there. That light will just stay green for that one house who seems to be doing all the work on this. In fact, actually, since I've um, changed this to that, they can actually cut across like that and even shorten that trip. All right, a bit more of a random scattering there of, of house placement. So let's give him a... I mean, all of these greens are just sort of... Yeah, this is just all over the place. Uh, these placements. Now, the positive is that if I do end up with a um, warehouse landing anywhere, there's a chance that, that any one of these houses will have landed nearby where it, it needs to go. Um, the fact that this is a double warehouse would say that this is going to be a, a hard one to have long-term success with. Put a traffic light in there, I suppose. Ah, uh, we don't really need to. Might have him come across there just to give them an extra house because he is traveling a little bit further than some of these other ones. Now we'll take the traffic lights because we've got three bridges still. Oh, we've also got this, this guy in terms of closeness to here. It's a tough call. I mean, this guy does have... Yeah, we'll give him that way. Get that. This again, we'll have to... Just temporarily... Now these are the curious ones. I mean, you can see that this guy's not coping um, with just one house. What I reckon we can do is just that. Let this one house here support, be the backup support for, for this guy. Got our excess bridges so we can connect that, get rid of him. And what do is send these two guys over here in the same way they can be an assistant to to this guy. Another green guy over here would, would certainly be handy. And we'll give him a motorway till I think the motorways we're almost using in a way to to great to highlight a um a location to say this guy doesn't have something. Well, I haven't yet found someone close to this to use. Um, and so I can keep looking to see what random houses are popping up around it uh, to take advantage of. Now that's a nice handy addition here. That means that I can possibly use this guy either way. Keep taking the motorways for now. Hope this guy ends up being white because definitely already covered fit that that occurring. You can see that once this is sort of under control, this one house does a great job of just keeping it under wraps and that these two guys are just there for that one time where it does overload a little bit. They send out one and then hopefully they are, they can clean it up. Save it. Oh.
this, there, there are definitely times where I make a video and, and people point out that I've missed clear connections that I should have made with houses and I'm 100% already willing to concede that I'm going to miss some of these random scatterings on this one. These aren't neighborhoods that I've got to keep an eye on, these are just individual houses and certainly they're going to swing up problems on me. I don't I think maybe like that. Okay, let's pause for a second. And I'll just get this guy to run the long way around just so they don't intersect. And this is the closer house, I guess because of that, that he can be be that backup support. Now he's gone circular as well, which makes this setup a little bit trickier to maintain because both of them need need that little bit of support. I suppose we can try and sneak this guy through. Pause for a second. Get him connected. This guy here, we can try and swing him around. A long way. Now for both of these, actually, we can put a set of lights there. It's not really the way I want that set of lights to operate, but sorry. Okay, so yellow is, is definitely becoming a problem. So let's knock this out. Join these two houses together, because I think it's the only real place I've got two that I can connect. Similar to this setup here, hopefully the intention is that this guy can do a lot of the heavy lifting and then these guys are coming in for support. Hopefully a really interesting level, this one is a fun one to play. both of these are circular, definitely this is going to escalate uh, to a critical point sometime. But they just won't be able to handle the pace of, of the congestion of, of stuff coming both ways. Okay. So let's join him in, and I guess since we've got that guy, give these guys him. Definitely, jury is still out on whether I'm better off having, say, these two guys here connecting in and all of these traveling the same direction, or if I should have um, them on separate sides. Now this blue here is still a problem. I would probably say he's the biggest concern that we have. Ah, oh, that's why you pause before you, you try and move something, because just dump a guy in between where you want to connect your uh, yellow to, but it's all right.
this yellow is still a question mark. I mean, we've got we're spoilt for motorways at the moment, so let's just give them that tiny little motorway to help out. The potential problem actually is that that motorway is so small, I'm going to forget it exists. I'm going to make sure, keep a mental note to make sure I don't forget that guy I've just got as a little hop. Hopefully he should he should be all right because he's got the four houses to look after him. get rid of that and we could even quite possibly get rid of that bridge if we need a bridge. I plant that there. Give me the option of having these two guys come into it. Definitely see that blue is is the struggler in that one. Here's another short little motorway to try and address that for the time being. A lot not to like about this setup here either. I wonder if possibly I should have him come around to this side. Let's pause for a second. Him in there, get him out of there. Get him off that road. And that yellow is stuck on that road, we can't get him off unfortunately. Now we can bring him down here too, so we can give them two extra guys and try and reduce the congestion at that initial point of, of contact. Also get him connected to this guy. And him in as well. So what we'll do, we will connect him that way, get that green because he's not a, a the key guy in, in helping out here, he's, he's definitely one of the further back ones, whereas this guy does seem like he could be a bit more critical for this guy who's, who's our main struggler I'd say. You can see there's at least one guy just sitting back here, which means that the um the furthest away point house isn't on call at the moment with these extra houses, which is at least a good thing to say that well there he goes. Um that as long as we can see someone back here sitting at home, then it means that the cars are all in motion for the for the current task. Still my eye on this guy. And probably this one. The bridge. Just connect him straight in. This guy up here is still operating on just one house. So the question is, do we want to give a couple of guys yeah, if we can converge all three of those guys to the single point, we'll use them as just an emergency backup. So what will happen is that you'll see a quick surge of guys go across to address those current spots. Um, and it should just mean that these guy's will continue to do the the day to day. And as that overflows, we've got just an emergency system of these long range guys coming in to, to try and help out. Now you can see how bad this is getting in here. Now the question really becomes, is this a problem to do with, because I'm sending guys in both ways, is this actually going to be more efficient if we all come in through that one direction and they rotate through? Now I, I can definitely see the logic of that theory, but what I would have to do is, is 
don't have enough greenhouses on this side to really cater to that. What I would have to do is send them all the way around to hit this roundabout and come back. But then the question is, is that more efficient or has that become less efficient that it's actually going to create its own problem? Now, we've got to keep an eye on him. Let's um, consider what moves we can make. Now, there's a long bit of break glass in case of emergency. He can join, and so can he. That does mean that they're all running into a pretty major intersection there, but hopefully this is just an initial, like a momentary problem that we're hit with. Same goes for this guy down the bottom. Maybe dark blue is just having a moment. We don't really have much of a dark blue population center anyway. We've got three guys down here. Um, let's Let's try and make a move on this before it becomes too much more dire. Certainly have highways to, to use. So let's send six guys just quickly up there. Let's see if they can help address this. And what we'll do is we'll give these guys an order here. So again, they have their one close house to hopefully do the day-to-day. -day, and two further away to help address any other issues. You can see definitely there's a huge problem with traffic converting on this one spot. That's not so much the amount of cars that I have, but it's just the efficiency of them getting there and then getting home. Um, possibly a set of traffic lights could help, but I don't want to chuck that in there. So we've um, sort of calmed this down a bit. You can see that is starting to calm down a little bit. And as it gets calmer, fewer cars will be going, and that efficiency will pick up. We'll recover a bit. Right. Putting a set of traffic lights in there. See how it goes. Okay, so this green guy here is only operating with two houses, so commendable that he's lasted as long as he has. We've got three houses just here that we can connect. Give them a short hop over there to help out. These guys through here, so we can get so many different weird little connections to get this guy going. Now, we'll have to disconnect him, because I think this guy in his proximity is way more valuable. Traffic lights. Keep an eye on, I guess, our, our busier points down here. This guy here, the peakiest at the moment, but he's, he's recovering. He sort of comes and goes. He's only got three houses to look after him. We've got this guy really close here, but he would have to cut across. I suppose this this house here is doing the heavy lifting on him. So we can see how we go with that. Just to give up that those two extra cars, because Hopefully he's considered the furthest away of the yellow houses, so when he's not, uh, when that, that yellow is under control, he'll he'll be the one that's just sitting at home. 
Now, with how well that traffic light is working at the top, it does make me think that I should be using more traffic lights. That's not a traffic light. Let's um, try putting in another one. See how these work. How these go. this guy along the top too, just give them that extra, extra hand. But it does seem like suddenly you'll have different colours just surge with their demand. So you can see it's almost like light blue just suddenly went, we need a lot. And, and so the amount of light blues like across the board went up in urgency. Calm down again now. Dark blue seems to be the one that's now, sorry, not dark blue, purple is, uh, is jolting a little bit. Uh, we can connect these two houses under this setup. We can get him on there too. The real close connection, this house here. I guess we'll use, get him to use the lights. white as well as suddenly surging. Now this white is only operating off three houses here. Yes, they seem to have come back under a little bit of control. This guy here is our one to watch, but we do have a bridge. And bring him down. Help out. We might give them just a traffic light. But possibly that'll make things worse for them. You can see down here this guy's going a bit bananas too. that I think it did slow them down a bit okay so again I suppose we can bring him down to, to help out this guy is definitely looking a bit dire at the moment we shift these guys we can sneak these two underneath that, that motorway as well Turn him around. I think this guy's going to be done for. I'm not sure that a set of lights in there would help. I think it's there's too many different sort of bodies in motion that it's just basically if they can get back fast enough. Um, what was that house down there? Let's um, let's just offer them a little bit of a surge. Send these guys down to here. Actually, no, we can send that guy across there too. And let's get these guys to... There's no sort of spot we can outlet them at all. Um, I don't know, it doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Let's just hop into there. Again, it's just going to be throwing even more cars into an already messy situation, but you can see all the whites across the board have current, cousinly, cousinly, currently hit their, uh, their breaking point. So, I mean, this guy down here now seems to be the one that's worse off, but our only option for him is to pull... I suppose we can try and sneak this guy through there. I just love the long, long lineup of guys just trying to get in there to help out this guy. But this guy here is now going to fail on us. Um, 
there's not really too much we can do apart from let them reclaim this guy, but I think that that's possibly going to be too little too late. I only really hope that would be that that, um... Ah, there we go. Not too bad, though. Uh, let's go have a look at the, the high scores for the week. So we're about halfway through the week at this point. 307. Not too bad. There we go. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. Till next time, catch you later. See ya.